parts to Hagalah. Number one is Chlezechuchi. Glass. Any kind of glass that you use. Plates, cups, anything of that sort. So yesterday we spoke about that if it's, again, if it's only used for cold, you don't have to worry. That's not even a question. That's for sure. You're allowed to use it on Pesach without a question. As long as it's only used for cold, we don't have any issues. He brings down over here, Kleze Chuchit. Simply glass, anything that's made of glass. Halakha, enam bolaim ve'enam poltim. They don't absorb and they don't give off. Nothing comes out of it. So therefore, being that they don't absorb anything inside, so being that that's the case, you don't have to worry, even if you use the glass on the fire, use it in the oven, doesn't make any difference. You could use it directly without any kind of hagala or uh, anything. On Pesach, Immediately, you don't need to be machshir them at all on Pesach. All you have to do, don't use them for 24 hours, wash them out. You're good to go. Use them on Pesach, whatever you want, no problem. Now again, this is the opinion of the Sfaradim. However, Ashkenazim are more mahmir in this, and therefore the Ashkenazim do not use glass whatsoever. They hold that once you use glass for hamet, you can't even do hagal on it. And therefore they will not use glass whatsoever unless it's brand new, of course. If it's bought brand new for Pesach, then they'll use it. But otherwise, they will not use glass whatsoever. Sfaradim, halakha, is it mutar? You're allowed to use glass <coughs> during the year without any doing any hagal or anything. Just make sure that it's washed well and everything is clean. Use it on Pesach, no problem. This also extends for Pyrex. Things that are Pyrex, which again is also a kind of glass. Same idea. One, even though again it's used on hot foods, used in the oven, as long as again it's cleaned 100% clean, no problem, you could use it on Pesach. Those that want to be Mahmir like the Ashkenazim, yes, Akhim Ahmad Ismok. Again, one who wants to be Mahmir and says, listen, I want to buy new, I don't want, I don't take chances. No problem, you want to be mahmir, you could always be mahmir. Halakha, it's mutar, you're allowed to use it. One who wants to use glass, Pyrex, for Pesach, that has been used for Hamed during the year, no problem, one is allowed. The other halakha that is very important is shulhanot, tables, tabletops. So, regular table, most people either, they cover it on Shabbat or they cover it for the holidays. So in that case, you have no problem. If you're covering the table, you don't need to do any kind of agala. Once the table's covered, it's automatically good. It's perfect. But we have certain things that people don't cover. For example, countertops that are in your kitchen. Countertops, in general, most people do not cover, not during the year, and they don't want to cover it on Pesach either. It's one of those that are very difficult. It's not an easy thing to cover. So therefore, if one has countertops, which is the same idea as a table, because on your countertops, most people take food from their oven, from their uh, stove, and then they pour it into another vessel to bring it to the table. And many times, over the course of the year, things do spill on the countertops. I don't think the countertops stay clean all year round. They automatically, something's going to spill on it. And therefore, that's considered hametz. So now you're going to go and use it on Pesach, you have a problem. Anything that's going to spill on the thing is going to become also Hamid. So you have to make sure, either you have two choices. Option one is you can cover it. You can put a cover over the entire countertop, and they sell these different kinds of counter, uh, covers that they sell on top of the countertops. That's one thing that you can do, and it definitely takes care of the problem. The other option is to do Haga'ala. Again, in a case where Haga'ala is doable, and in most cases it is, where you have to go boil up hot water and pretty much you're going to pour it over the entire countertop on every space of the countertop. Once you pour hot water over the entire countertop, now the whole countertop becomes mukhshad. Again, now it becomes kashela pesach. Assuming that again, you didn't use it within 24 hours, it's cleaned well, and after that you pour on it hot water, it becomes mukhshad pesach. You don't need to cover it and everything now becomes kashela pesach and you're allowed to use it.